ME effects uh, in Plymouth uh, between 500 and 1,500 people. And I agree with the sentiments that have been expressed by so many people in, in this chamber today that it does not get the amount of attention it deserves. Many cases because of the stigma that has been attached to it for far too long. I, table, I put on my Facebook page uh, a few days ago uh, that I wanted to speak in this debate and I asked for stories from people in Plymouth. And I've done this before in a number of different debates and what has always struck me is the levels of honesty and directness that comes from people simply telling their story, not as a politician, but just as a person. And I want to share some of those stories today. That's those people with ME feeling that they're not believed, that their condition doesn't matter, and that nothing is being done about it. Jules wrote to me saying, just getting up the stairs lays me out for hours. Having a shower leaves me laid, on the dark, uh, laid out in a darkened room. I can't work anymore. Believe me, it's not for the want of trying. I can't do drama, rock choir, or Zumba. In fact, just making a cup of tea leaves me exhausted as Zumba used to. I lay alone at home. I live vicariously through Facebook. I still get out when I can, but it will usually cost me days or weeks in bed if I do. I'm one of those lucky ones. I'm not totally bed bound. Catherine said, I first became ill just before my 21st birthday. I spent weeks needing to be cared for full time by my parents, including being carried by my dad because I was unable to walk. I'm always in pain. I have difficulty doing things that most people take for granted and I've lost so much of my long term memory. I suffer depression, bouts of anxiety and problems that are very embarrassing, never knowing when the next flare might put me back where I started. And I think the story about how ME is not just one thing on its own and mental health problems can stem from the experience of living with ME is something that we also need to recognise in this debate as a part of adding to the condition, not just being part of the condition itself. Happy giving way.